Well, of course, the big danger for the Conservatives now is that many voters uh, look at them and Labour and think on issues like immigration, on issues like uh, high tax. What really now is the difference away from the rhetoric? And of course, that could be an opportunity for Richard Tice's Reform UK. I do know that in the latest Redfield and Wilton poll of the Red Wall, for instance, yes, you have a big Labour lead still, Labour on 48, though they're down four and the Conservatives are up three to 30. But you do have Reform UK there solidly in third on double digits on 10%. Interestingly enough as well, Keir Starmer's approval rating in the Red Wall is his lowest in the Red Wall since the 4th of September. Though it is still quite a bit higher in those areas than Rishi Sunak's approval rating, which is at minus 20. So can reform make progress? Well, interesting there to see YouGov actually putting one of reform's policies about raising the income tax threshold to £20,000 a year, finding that to be a popular policy backed by 78% of the public, opposed by just 9% of the public. And you've got Alex Wilson there a reform candidate saying to make Britain work, we must make work pay. And the reform would raise the income tax threshold to £20,000 to take the lowest paid workers out of tax altogether. Real practical help with the cost of living crisis you won't get from any other party. And as Guido notes there, tax cuts popular with voters, shocker. And of course, that is going to be the challenge for reform to get awareness about their policies and try and build support. But as I said, interesting to note there, they are on 10% in the latest red wall poll and the danger for the Tories is that those in favour of tax cuts could drift over and back reform instead of the Tories at the next general election. Let me know what you make of that prospect in the comments below guys. I will keep bringing you all the latest of course so please do whack this video a quick thumbs up and of course as ever cheers for watching.